Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and if you're new here, welcome. Today I thought I'd share something a little different. Um, this is a pocket Bible, a pocket compact Bible, and it's a Bible garden. Now this was totally inspired by Kat Woods. If you have not followed her or seen her videos on YouTube, um, please do so. Um, I will tag her uh, Bible Garden playlist below so you can get a, you know, if they'll inspire you to start one. Uh, and this I did a couple of years ago and um, basically it's just taking um, a, a Bible, any size Bible. I started with a compact like she did and um, inspire you to grow in the Lord, to bloom and where you are planted. And that's kind of where this idea came from. So um, let's get started. Again, this is a, this particular one is a Coleman new KJV pocket Bible, compact size. And again, you can use any size Bible. Uh, I just prefer the small compact because it's just small, petite, and it fills up quickly. <laughs> the inside is decorated. Everything in here does have a purpose and a reason for me putting it in here. This front is almost like a dashboard, like a place of encouragement for me to open. Everything in here is just pure encouragement in the Lord. And I try to, you know, make everything match. So most of these stickers are from Happy Planner and a mishmash of different stickers that I had. Um, let me bring you down just a little bit there. So again, important, cling to God's word when you feel like you're absolute to fall apart. <laughs> you're about to fall apart. Your Bible falling apart means that you're not. And this one is the Bible is our only offensive tool against the devil. Everything else is defensive. His little sparrow. Uh, she's on Instagram. She used to have a YouTube channel, but now is solely on Instagram. And too blessed to be stressed. That is so true. Okay, so let's go here. I'll be here all day trying to show you my little um, pocket Bible. The purpose of mine and different people have different themes on their Bible. Um, cat. Uh, Woods has different, multiple, multiple Bibles, um, and uh, many of them are themed. This one is specific to my scripture writing. So as I was scripture writing, and again, this is back May 8, uh, 2018 through July of 2019. Um, and again, this wasn't in consecutive order. I can pick this up anytime and continue working in it, but I thought it was pretty full, and so I wanted to keep it as is. But these are the topics that I wrote about. Let me bring you down a little more. Oh, and I color coded. So when I look through the book, I can look here at the index and see that everything in green has to do with wholeness through brokenness. Anything in blue is fear not and so on. So I like to color code almost everything that I have. <laughs> I don't like to um, cover any of the words um, you know, many people do it different ways. Um, let me, a little sticker is bent there. Um, and so anywhere there's a sticker, that means there's a scripture, you know, um, tied to that page. So sometimes I'll put on multiple and, and sometimes I'll just put washi and a little sticker on it. Sometimes I'll just doodle. And again, the stickers are just I put it in random places to make it look like a garden. And sometimes it's just simple. This says fear not. Fear. Happy, happy, happy. <laughs> Worry less. So I'd, sometimes I just put these long stickers to fill up, you know, to the whole page. Sometimes I just put simple flowers. Sometimes I just take a little highlighter and just mark it up to decor. And these flowers are from a sticker pack from Michael's. So I'll cut the flower sometimes in half and then paste the back and the front and some 
sticker washi there. So if I want to be encouraged, I can just pick up this Bible and look for um, anything that's highlighted that I'm struggling with. I can just go there and be encouraged in the Lord. I'm going to try to flip through here. And I like doing these doodles are so easy to do and they, you know, decorate the page. Sometimes if the scripture was in one particular color and then I came in and did a different scripture writing plan and it involves the same scripture, I'll just take and um, the highlighters in here are mild liners, zebra mild liners, and then I'll just, you know, highlight the box or box it in with a different color, letting me know that that applies to, do, to two different scripture plans. And just the way I do, um, you know, I would in my morning time is when I did this and let me go a little faster here. So <laughs> be here all day. Um, I would, you know, get up in the morning, do my devotions and I have certain things that I would do. Um, and then I would write out my scripture, you know, meditate on it, pray through it and then come in here um, as as I studied the scripture and then highlight it, underline anything that sticks out to me, um, and then decorate it. And that's kind of how I did it. I don't just come in here and decorate and just pick, you know, whatever. It's really it's Bible a Bible garden. It's to really get you um, in the Word of God, to meditate on the Word of God, study it, know it, um, and then use it as a resource. And so um, it's it's a fun way to study the word and, you know, drawn to it because it's so, for me, it's really cute. And I just love to see the pages all decorated. And then I can go back and I remember when I laid down, you know, certain stickers. Um, this is not covering. It's just a little piece of washi. And I don't know if you can see that, but that's like a, a, a die cut. The thing about when you're laying down or when I was laying down stickers is to make sure that I was strategically not covering up um, the words. And so I had to be, you know, very careful, <clears throat> excuse me, even with placing like hearts to place them in open. You know, if, if the scripture had more space around it, then... Um, then I can do that. But if it was a tight space, I try to find like stickers like these that were real tiny. And then there I just drew like a vine. I was trying to practice my vines and my doodling. <laughs> ah, but I could, um, you know, um, do that all day long because how can I mess that up, right? And then in big areas like this, I stuck in, you know, larger stickers, um, and that's from the Happy Planner Faith Pack. Sometimes I just drew like little vines with flowers or the butterfly, you know, was flying. So just dash lines. Again, many of these stickers um, are encouraging. I like that with the floral you know, long, long sticker through here a little bit. This is another one that's like washed in. It's not covered, but if you close the book, you can see it stick out. So it looks pretty. I'm sure if you do a search on Bible Garden in uh, within YouTube, you can find other women that have done it. Um, so I always like to do that and be encouraged or re-encouraged, re-inspired by other women. I even go to Cat Wood's um, playlist and rewatch it every so often just to inspire me and then it gets me going and starting, you know, back in another Bible. This is just a piece of vellum and I put sticker on it and then I just taped it in or I think I glued this one in and then add some washi and it's like a little cover page there. But I really, this is really relaxing for me. Um, 
laying stickers like to plan a page in a planner stresses me out I'm not sure why because you know you have to analyze where do i put the sticker well it you know what does look right and everything else yada yada and here i just it's easy this one you know i found this one i was like oh that fits perfect there you know to me that's enjoyable <laughs> i like that yes to the lord this i think my next one i'll show you right quick what i have and I have not worked in it because I just haven't felt led for a specific theme. And I don't want to do continue doing the scripture writing one, even though I'm doing different plans now. I don't know. I want to make sure that when I'm doing something, I feel led and called to do it. I like that one. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and not just do something out of doing And that's it and then back here um, um, and then that one I do try to get me and my washi match with my stickers and then the stickers kind of match the theme if you look at the along with encouraging stickers and let me bring you back out a little bit and so this this is completed and I keep on my shelf and I pull it out whenever I want to you know be encouraged um, this is my, another one that I have, and this one is the uh, same one, Holman New KJV. Uh, that's just what I prefer using. And I do always use the large print and the large print. It's not like, you know, a full size Bible, but it's still small. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it's just, if it doesn't say large print, it'll be really, really tiny. Just a quick FYI. Um, something that I ordered, and hold on, let me get it. <laughs> um, something that Catwood uses in hers that I ordered are the acetate frames. Um, it, it's a whole, see how it's, but it has a frame, and you can easily put it in there like that. See how pretty that is? And then you just glue it in there or tape it in there. You can do just clear tape. This one has pretty. I don't know if you can see it, but kind of these little gems there. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it has two of that. Here, let me open up the cage and then you can see it. That one, that's pretty. Two of the, oh, this is really pretty with the butterfly. I love butterflies in there. And two, oh, this is really pretty <laughs> here. Um, now I'm getting inspired to work back in here and it's perfect. This. For the page there and oh, so I'm not too crazy about the octopus but I just make sure that if you do glue this in it doesn't so when you lay it on the shelf it doesn't bend the bottom and then that's it and these are from I ordered these from Amazon and they're from K and Company and they're called acetate frames so you'll see Cat Woods use some of those and um, again, I have another Bible that I want to work in. Let me pull it out. And it's this one I've had for two years. And this is a large print compact Bible. And it, actually, this is the one. Sorry, I need to pull it out here. I can't pull it out. It's been in here for a while. So I'm thinking it's just the humidity. This one is for my grandbaby. Um, or one of my grandbabies and then I'm going to order another one that in purple for my other grandbaby and then I'm going to set this up kind of like my bible garden but I want it to be encouraging scriptures so it will be scriptures of uh, when she grows up and looks back at this I'm going to put little notes of how I felt when she was born I want to put little notes in each of her birthdays um I'm going to put who I am in Christ, scriptures that she can meditate on, and as she grows older and as an adult, that she can always cherish this. Um, but anyway, this is all I have for today, and I hope that encourages you to take out or start working in a Bible. And um, if you have not subscribed yet, please do so, so you can get notifications of future videos. But thank you so much for watching. And I appreciate each and every one of you that watches my videos and have a good one.